Hi guys, this is Crafty Cat. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. We are here with another fan sales unbegging video. I'm having so much fun. I love unbegging new diamond paintings, you guys. Do you? It's like Christmas morning every time. Or my birthday. And my birthday is coming up. So, happy birthday to me. Let me see. Ah. It'll be well over by the time you watch this. Because <laughs> I'm behind in getting things up. Alright. Let's see what we have. Oh, this broke my theory. I had a theory that if it comes in bubble wrap, it's pre-bagged. And if it doesn't, it's not. This blew my theory out of the water. It's in bubble wrap, but it's not in baggies. Darn. So here are the drills. Looks like there's quite a lot of drills. And Fan Cells always seems to give the standard kit. And I just have to fold this backward. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy, you guys. I am just so happy. <laughs> if I would have known that diamond painting would make me this happy, like every aspect of it, buying it, choosing what to buy brings me great pleasure. Putting things in my cart and then taking things out of my cart, you know, I'll, I'll put like 30 things in my cart and then I try to whittle it down to usually five, but lately 10, which is really terrible. I'm overspending. But I enjoy every part of diamond painting. I enjoy looking at all the different sites, Amazon, Fansells, GB, FKE, um, where else have I ordered from? Sheen, a few other places. And I enjoy looking at all of the different diamond paintings. I enjoy watching all of your videos. I enjoy getting them in the mail. I enjoy opening them. I enjoy making these videos and I enjoy doing them. And look at this, you guys. Oh, <gasps> how pretty. They're two African gray parrots in a flowering tree. Now, this is special to me because I have an African gray parrot named Smokey. And I'll put a little picture of her here. That's my Smokey girl. And Smokey and I have been together since 1990 and it is now 2022 so i have been with my parrot for 32 years she was i was told she was six months old when i got her she was a, a young bird because you could tell by their eyes but i was also told she was a boy this is the name Smokey, um and it was about i don't know several years before i found out she was a girl when she laid her first egg it was a very big shock because i thought it was a boy but I think the pet store was lying and saying they were boy. She was a boy because um, there used to be a theory that the boys were better talkers than the girls. But that's not true. Smokey is a great talker, and I would love her even if she wasn't. But look how beautiful this is. So, yeah, this is really nice. So here is the little thumbnail, and this is item number E995. It's thirty by forty centimeters, and look at this, you guys. Twenty six colors. That's awesome. And, uh-oh. It's got lowercase and uppercase letters. Oh, my. That's the first one that I've had like that. Have you had one like that? Look, there's a lowercase d. Is there an uppercase d? There is. There's a lowercase d and an uppercase d. Wow. Okay. Oh, I hope there's not two x's. Are there two x's? There's one x. If there's two x's, I'm going to be in big trouble. I have, I have a very hard time with space. Like, like a C, I hope there's not two Cs. That will be hard too. Like other letters where there's a big difference, like a K, uh, an uppercase K and a lowercase K look totally different, and a lowercase D and an uppercase D look totally different. I'm okay with that. But when they both look the same, it's going to be really hard. See, like B is fine, because the uppercase B and the lowercase B look totally different. A V would be hard. But it looks all right. And it's got the, um, the DMC codes. 26 colors for this size is really good, I think. And look how vibrant that is. Like, especially when it's further away, like in the camera. When you bring it really close, it starts to look a little bit pixelated, but still good. You, it's big enough that you could still clearly see the beak, the eyes, the coloring. 
Um, the red tail. Here's the red tail. They have red tails. And I don't know about these African gray parrots, but my African in, ah, blah, my African gray parrot hates the color red. And I'm wondering if they flash their tail as a warning to other birds, and that's why they don't like red. But I don't know if they all don't like red or if it's just mine. And she's also not a fan of mops. You know, like the big shaggy mops when you do the floor? She hates them. She growls at them like a dog. So I can't put a mop anywhere near her or in her room or she freaks right out. <laughs> Birds are so funny. But anyway, I am going to do this for myself. And um, I was going to put it in her room, but I don't know if she'll like it because of all of the red. She doesn't like red, so I'll probably keep it in my room. And I just love it because Smokey's my girl. I mean, how many people can say they've been with a bird for 32 years? You guys, I've been cleaning a bird cage every day for 32 years. I don't always clean it every day. Sometimes I go a few days. But she's got a big cage. She's in a, her medium cage right now. Because the room she's in right now is not big enough for the cage. Like, I chose a giant cage. It's big enough that I could get in with her. And, like, two of my friends could also get in. It's huge. It's like, it's a, it's like the size of a small room the cage so that's in the garage because the room she's in now won't fit it so she's in her medium cage now which is still more than enough for an african gray parrot she likes that cage so um it's her home she, i let her out she sits on my shoulder but she's pretty destructive so i have to watch her when she's out or she'll start like tearing up the wall or she, she just likes to break things so and she's but she's a good talker and she is funny and she's got a sense of humor and she's a wonderful bird and when I saw this, I had to get it. So I'm really impressed that there's 26 colors. My goodness. So the drill feel looks really good. Um, my camera's not picking up on it. Is it now? Is that better? Anyway, let's pull it back. Sometimes that helps. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I hate when I hit the camera. So you guys, in real life, it is way more clear than it is appearing in my camera. For some reason, my camera has a hard time focusing sometimes. I'm using my phone. Oh, I forgot to check the stick. Now, why does this seem bigger than some of the other ones? This is 30 by 40. And I've opened other 30s by 40s that don't seem this big. It must just be an optical illusion the way this is designed. It just seems really big to me. So anyway, let's see what I paid for this. Let's find it. I am on the website already. I just have to scroll down. So this is called, on the website, it's called Parrot Birds. Just Parrot Birds. 40 by 30. Full round. And I paid $4.76 for this. Canadian. So how awesome is that? I mean, that's an amazing price. And I really, I, most of them put the um, the table of contents on both sides. I do like that. But look how big this table of content is. It's much bigger than usual. Maybe that's why it seems bigger. It's got the big table of contents, nice and easy to read. This is really beautiful. I'm just really looking forward to doing this. All right, guys, I hope you like it. And if you did, please hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Um, leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Do you like birds? Um, have you ever met an African gray parrot? They are awesome. So anyway, um, yeah, maybe I'll do a video with Smokey one day so you can meet her. Would you like that? All right. Take care and stay safe, guys. Bye for now.